starts to harden, then they put a nut in it and mold the fruit up around it and then roll that in powdered sugar. And that's a treat. We made some treats, not necessarily candy. Candy was is a, a more of a modern terminology. In the time frame in which we interpret 1821 to 1826, candy was considered either a confection or a sweet meat. I like candy a lot, and since it was Valentine's Day, I drug him along. This is good. The series is the, uh, the Hump Day History Series, um, and it's designed to try to get an interest in our site and in history from the people who live and work down here all the time. Front row and the back row turned out fine. The center row burnt like you wouldn't believe. Trying to find items that people will find of interest and maybe stop by. They can spend the whole two hours, they can stop by for five minutes. If they get any kind of interest or any kind of knowledge out of it, then it's better off for them, better off for us. You know, it's my firm belief that if they had had power tools and modern conveniences, they used them. Oh, okay. uh, well, it was uh, not as refined and uh, more coarse, and um, it was just different flavor because it was made with herbs and natural things, and what I make is made with stuff you buy at Snooks or Deerberg's. You know, and I collect recipes, so I'm going to add this to my collection and try some. Just take that whole thing right there because it's got it's got the walnut in it. So awesome! Thank you.